For Off the Block, I'm Vinny Lopes, and I am now joined by Long Beach State Middle Attacker Taylor Gregory, all-conference middle attacker, as he and his Long Beach State teammates are going to be heading to Penn State here in a few days to try to win an NCAA championship. And Taylor, let's just talk about your team and everything. You know, What was the reaction like on Sunday when you heard that you guys were in the NCAA tournament field? Um, you know, we were, we were happy to uh, get another chance at the season, uh, get another chance to play for a championship. Um, obviously, it was kind of nerve-wracking to be sitting in that seat on Sunday, but and we would have liked to uh, win the tournament, but it didn't go that way. And, and, you know, we were just confident that we had a good chance with the body of work we put together over the season. So um, it was definitely a, a good feeling on Sunday. Yeah. And going to the NCAA tournament, what do you think is the best attribute that your team has? Um, I think, uh, you know, overall, especially the last few weeks, we've, we've gotten really good at coming together and playing together and playing for each other. Um, our mentality down the stretch is just keep going hard for each other and, and good things will happen. So, um, you know, we've, we've been able to do a lot of, a lot of good things physically, um, and with just the way we play the game. But, you know, one of the big things we're trying to take in this tournament is how we play together. And, you know, for you this season, you're in the senior role, you're being a, you know, leader on the team leader throughout your career. But, you know, I want to ask you, you know, what was it like at the beginning of the season, you know, when you had three freshmen walk in and battling for spots in the starting lineup? What was that like kind of the first couple practices when they walked into the gym? Um, I, for me, it was exciting. Um, you know, the more talent we can have, the better for us. Was kind of my mentality about it, and you know, getting to see just the the level of the gym raise with how talented some of these guys coming in are, and, and obviously we've been able to see it over the course of the season with some of the things they've done, the numbers they put up. It's it's been pretty exciting, um, and you know, just that those first two practices, yeah. it's just a good feeling in the gym and <clears throat> being able to see you know, what we're going to be able to do this season and, and what it means for our program. Yeah, and I do want to ask you, is, you know, last year you guys were able to make it the postseason but had a short exit. What, you know, what was the mentality, how different was the mentality this year compared to last year on the team? Um, you know, we just, we wanted, we wanted more. We knew our, our exit and why last year wasn't what we wanted necessarily. Um, you know, it hurt, and we actually, I, I thought we played a pretty good match up until the last few points in every set of that game, and, you know, we just didn't want to leave the leave this season with uh, the sting of that, knowing that, you know, there was more on the table, and and just not let it slip through our hands, and thankfully we have a second chance for that. And I want to ask for you personally, because, you know, your senior year, obviously you want to go out with the championship, but... You know, excluding the NCAA tournament and all the excitement that can there, what's been your favorite memory at Long Beach State? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I, one of my favorite memories is definitely coming to playoffs. Um, I've been fortunate to play in some really good matches, um, especially in, in the conference we play in. Um, but, you know, I, right now I'm just really focused on trying to embrace the moment we're in now and, and you know hopefully reflect more later after it's all done well talking about your game this season you know defensively you've always been great at the net but offensively your numbers have been astounding this year I know that you were leading the conference for a good bulk of the season and attack percentage um, what is it has it been about your connection with Josh this year that's made you so effective offensively um, well a lot of work was put into it um, with the coaches with Josh all the other middles, um, just changing some of the things we did, uh, you know, on our team offensively as middles. Um, it took a lot of hours, a lot of video, um, and a lot of work with Josh, um, and it's just it's just been a pretty good connection. And you know, it's obviously something I'm excited about. It's it's great to be able to work with Josh and and the setters and and Coach Hildebrand, um, who's meant a lot to. You know, what's come of you know, our off, our off. Um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, it's 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 been a, a lot of hard work has been put into it. So we're excited to see what we can do with it. 
definitely. And, and final question, I'll let you go go on this. You know, know that you're a leader both on and off the court for this team. So I want to ask you, what do you think has been the biggest lesson or skill that you've been able to help give some of the younger players on this 49ers team? Um, just, I, I think what I've been trying to do is just to remain level-headed and, and not get too caught up in, in all the stuff going on around us um, and just kind of stay focused on what we're trying to do to, uh, as a team um, going forward here. You know, just not to get too excited, too angry, too, you know, mixed up with all the stuff that goes on around us and just, just try to keep focused.